As you may or may not be aware of, on the six liter power stroke diesel engine with a high pressure oil system, a couple common areas of leak are here at the ball tube valve as well as the seals on the injector here itself. And so when replacing the injector, it's always a good idea to either replace the ball tube or the seal. In the past, technicians were left with one option. That was replacing the entire rail. Well, now we have the solution available here in which you can purchase the ball tube, which comes with a seal, or you can purchase the seal kit, which enables you to replace all the O-rings. So it's always a great idea if you're doing an injector replacement on a six liter to go ahead and at least replace the seals. But in the world of good, better, or best, it's a great idea to replace these ball valves as well. So we've got the tool available here. And so I'll insert it in there. I'm going to take an electric impact with a 15 16 socket to remove this. Those things are in there pretty tight. So that's where it's nice to hold it in the vise here and then use the electric impact to remove the nut, the retainer nut. So get that out of the way. Now it allows me to remove the old ball valve and I can get that out, set that off to the side and then dig the O-ring out. Get it with my fingers here. Sometimes you might have to use a pick or a screwdriver. Next, I'm gonna take a clean paper towel. Now I could use a shop rag, but quite often those will leave off a little bit of lint. So we want to clean inside there, make sure everything's nice and clean, no debris left over inside of there. Then I will take my new seal and I'm going to put a little bit of clean engine oil on my finger, help lubricate the seal. And then I will slide it down into place, get it set down in the groove where it belongs. I will take my new ball valve and rub some of that clean engine oil on here. Make sure it's seated in there properly. Take the retainer nut. And I'll run it down by hand, making sure that the, the ball tube is installed properly, centered nice. Now I'll take my torque wrench, which is set to 100 foot-pounds, and again, this is where it's handy to have it in the vise, because I don't have to worry about holding it. And then as I'm torquing this down and getting a good hard torque on it, see how it slides there a little bit even. But now that I've got it torqued down, remove my tool and we'll work our way through the other ones. And of course, we want to make sure that this is good and lubricated. And when we install the high pressure rail on the injectors, I want to make sure that I've got oil on the top of the injectors as well and make sure everything's lined up so I don't cut the seal or damage the new injector in any way. Hopefully, now you understand the, the simple process of replacing uh, the ball tube on this high-pressure oil rail and a 6-liter power stroke diesel engine.